everybody, and Yerian here with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, and possibly the last couple. In this episode, we're going to take on the Elite Four, because in the last episode we lost, because Marcus III died and I didn't have any revives. I took care of that problem, by the way. Oh, no, a bag. And we were way too underleveled, but now... I better move these to the top, actually. We have revives! Yeah! And elixirs, just in case, because you never know when you're going to need elixirs. What do have I got here to equip on some Pokemon? Nothing! Nothing of value at all! Maybe I have some citrus berries? I have one. I'll give that to Marcus. Definitely. He's going to need it the most. Trust me on this. Time for a hard save. The first one in a long time. I'm I'm pushing off the inevitable right now. I'm really nervous. <laughs> okay. Roots right state just in case. Pokemon. I will confess here. I used an experience gain game shark code to level my Pokemon more quickly. They have the exact same stats as they would have if I had leveled them normally. I just made it go faster because I really, really wanted to record for you guys. Forgot to do it for Adam, but it doesn't really matter. He can handle himself. So yeah, there's no bonus stats on them or anything, and these are actually appropriate levels for fighting the Elite Four. I'm not overleveled or anything. Pokemon kind of got too high, but it doesn't really matter. Still not overleveled. Photon John, I totally forget what he has. Oh, yeah, there's a reason he has that. Because it's kind of his main attacking moves are normal. Yeah, let's put that back on you, Drogon. Mr. Jonathan Wheeler. So yeah, I used a Game Shark code to increase my levels. Nothing big. And it's time to take on the Elite Four. God. I I just went through two successful runs, but Drake's Salamence has Rock Slide. And I'm dependent on Marcus to take out that Salamence, because Ice Beam. At first... Oh, shit. I forgot to change my Pokémon. Intimidate! I can't do this with Intimidate on, so I'm going to have to change Pokémon twice here. Whoops! Oh well, that's not like Zack can't take a physical hit. Go, Zack! Ha, <laughs> he is sand attack! Now we'll shift Tim back in. Tim will take a tiny hit. Crunch. Ha! Dark type moves. Brick break! Oh, this better not screw me over. I swear, I'm going to punch something in the face if this screws me over. Okay, I punched Mighty Anna in the face and it didn't screw me over. That's good enough for me. Shift Tree! I'm gonna use Marcus for Shift Tree. Nice beam, you know. I really don't like fighting shift up. <laughs> Swagger! Shifter, you don't have any swag! What are you doing? Stop that! Damn it! Shifter, you don't have any swag! What are you doing? Oh my fucking god. Evasion noob! That's my job at the beginning of the game. One turn confusion! Not bad. I was actually pretty lucky. And I hit! Yeah! Marks the third, you're to level 55. 
Cactur, yes. Change back to Tim, just just because Tim, man, Tim. Quick break. Pow! Right in the kisser. Now, the Elite Four are kinda... Once you know the weaknesses of all their Pokémon, if you have a team that's proper for those weaknesses, the Elite Four are actually pretty easy, except for Drake's Salamence. Ice is the best thing to deal with it, but it has Rock Slide. Rock Slide's very damaging, but the worst part is it has a... It seems to have a really high flinching rate for me. I seriously hope it doesn't flinch Marcus this time. Of course I am. I'm completely screwed. This is why this Crawdont is why Intimidate would have been a problem. Because if I had been intimidated, my punch wouldn't have been able to one-shot it. And its attacks hurt. <laughs> How do you like that? I lost. It, it was fun though, so it doesn't matter. 4,900, poke. You got what it takes to go far. Then go on into the next room and enjoy your next battle. <sighs> I know it's a ghost type and I know it has Shadow Ball. But I'm setting out Lucagen because her Dusclops, her first Pokemon, always uses Protect on the first turn. Always. I mean, I can calm mind. Phoebe! Commune with ghost type Pokemon. Try to see if I can even inflict damage? Ah, oh, yeah, you don't even know what you're talking about, girl. I just spilled water all over my shirt. Oh well. I didn't spill too much. Dusclops! In later generations, this will become a Dusk Noir. Calm mind, see? Protect. And oftentimes he tries to spam protect, so I'm going to calm mind again. He didn't protect, but he's going to use Shadow Ball. However, this Calm Mind is going to raise my defense. You bastard! Curse is a horrible move. Look how much damage it does. Shit. Now I gotta lose all my buffs to get rid of this curse. What a jackass. I guess I can have Proton John handle things. I mean, he resists Shadow Ball. Sword Stance. Willow Wisp! Now I have to waste a turn carrying Willow Wisp. Carrying Burn. Burn Heal. Shadow Ball, which isn't going to do much. Not going to Aerial Ace the shit out of her team. Aerial Ace! I fucking hate you. I HATE YOU! JESUS! Types are supposed to specialize in hassling you. Where's that full restore? Sword Sands. Thank you! Sableye! Aerial Ace! There we go! 
Now we're getting somewhere. Another bayonet. Bayonet. Bayonet? Bayonet? Marionette. It is a puppet. I mean, weird again. And another Dust Cops. It's probably going to use Protect on the first turn. No! Shit. SHIT! Oh, wow. Dust Cops must have terrible physical attack. I mean, if Earthquake's only doing that to a frickin' Absol... You've got to be joking. You serious? Let's finish this. <laughs> and now it's easy come, easy go, little high, little low. Now we have the ice type user next. First, though. Did I ever mention how much I love how full, full heals look? They're gold. That's awesome. Hyper Potion. Uh, Proton John. Because he goddamn needs it. Do I have any foreign berries? I don't know what that ball was. I probably have a ton of Warren Berries. Yeah, I have like five of them. <laughs> That's not enough. I'm just gonna waste a... Screw it, I'm gonna waste a... Hyper Potion on Luca. And a Hyper Potion on Tim. And an Elixir on Tim. Because we need that PP for Brick Break. Ah, damn it. Pokemon, we're gonna shift Tim into the front. Now, this entire strategy rests on if my Dynamic Punch successfully hits her Wall Rain or not when she sends it out. If it doesn't, we're gonna have a bit of a problem. Glacia of the Elite Four. You can go all out against me, but I don't think you're gonna win. Zero. Not as good as my my wall rain, but brick break. Punch. Punch! Yes! Captain Falcon thinks that one day a hairy Yama punch seals in the face. <laughs> I have no idea what I am even talking about anymore. That Glalie's, if that Glalie doesn't freeze me, I will be fine. If it does freeze me, I can probably fix it. The only problem with her Glalie is that it's fast. It's not very strong. Celio. Whoa, Celio. Sea Lion. Oh, ho, ho, that's terrible. And uh, then there's Spiel, Sphere Seal. I honestly have no clue what Glalie even is. Dead! That's what it is. Ooh, level up. Okay, Tim, this is it. It all rests on your shoulders, buddy. Let's see what you can do. Oh, I missed. I did not mean to do that. That was not on purpose. I'm 
not ready to risk it with that little health. Okay, now that I know approximately how much of my power it will take off. Let's risk another dynamic punch. I am so glad that I am not at a lower level than this wall rain, because it knows sheer cold. Dang it, dang it, nab it, dang it! I know I can hit with this! Come on, Tim, you can do it! You can do it! Suddenly, Offspring. <laughs> I love the Offspring, they're one of my favorite rock bands. Oh, Hail Stop, that's good. There we go! Pow! Right in the kisser. Good night, Walrein. <laughs> and yet I never used fire moves against her. Okay, guys, that's the end of this episode, and I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon Emerald for the final episode. Alright? This has been Anurian, signing off.